When you think of my brother, this is probably what comes to mind. But let's rewind nearly 25 years. This is Michael Popkin, and now I'm sorry, it's time to shut up. Growing up, we nearly always got on. <laughs> I've always put that down to good parenting. Oh, goodness me, what ugly children! I was there for his first day of primary school, his first day of secondary school, his first vodka and tonic, and even for his first dance at a wedding. And I'm happy to be here as one of his best men today. We share a similar sense of humour which developed from an early age. <laughs> and not much has changed throughout the years. But how did he meet Natalie? Let's find out. This is a tale of how love came to be in the mystical land of South End on Sea between a young man named Michael who knew how to dress and a sweet girl called Natalie, a punk rock princess. They met through Becca in 2005, a day that forever would change both their lives. In a magical place their hearts did first meet, a pub called The Alex, where the drinks were quite cheap. Michael's poison was rosé, Natalie's was gin. He gazed at her and she smiled at him. Long into the night their drinks went down smooth and when the moment was right, he made his first move. They discussed many movies from when they were young. She listed the classics, of which he had seen none. Midnight's bell tolled, last orders were in. Michael had to leave now or become a pumpkin. But before his departure, he made sure to obtain the fair maiden's number so they could meet once again. A friendship began and a romance soon after. Many nights filled with movies, sushi and laughter. Over time they grew closer and so did their lips until one fateful day, true love's first kiss. Eight years passed and it was quite fair to say they were happier than ever. Then, one weekend away, a trip to a spa as a birthday surprise. Little did she know, it was all a disguise. For this prince had a secret, a box with a ring. This romantic intention could mean only one thing. A proposal of marriage, or commitment at least, between this maiden of beauty and the wild, hairy beast. While alone in their room, he perfected the scene. Treasured photos and candles, it was just as he dreamed. To steady his nerves, a few drinks he consumed. To gather the courage, as the big question loomed. As she opened the door, he bent down on one knee and proposed with a song, like that TV show, Glee. Tears filled her eyes as he held his breath, and without hesitation, she smiled and said, yes. And so at last, the big day arrived, and the groom came to marry his fairy tale bride. A Halloween wedding that none would forget, like a Tim Burton movie, but without Johnny Depp. Though family and friends all came to agree, this 
day would rate higher on IMDb. And with that, they all wished on the stars far above to bless Michael and Natalie with a lifetime of love.